New England Gardening. Today's Monday, January 14th, and it's 58 degrees outside so far. It's 72 degrees in the greenhouse, and I've been meaning to seal around the door, so today's a good day to do it since it's nice and warm out. And uh, I think the foam that I'm going to use needs, you know, at least eight hours above freezing. Um, so I'm going to go seal around the door and tighten it up a little bit because this is going to be short-lived and we'll be getting uh, cold temperatures again. So here's the door and the gap that I need to fill in. I have a breeze that gets in through here. So any any reduction in air filtration will help keep the temperature a little bit higher in here at night or at least longer. So today's a nice day to do it. Now I noticed that They've got four cans now uh, of the spray foam. Um, so in addition to these, th these three, there's a green one now, and the green one has insecticide in it. Uh, so you, you, know, you fill in gaps around the foundation, maybe around the uh, water uh, spigot to the outside, things like that. But this, the first two here are, are rigid foam when they cure. So this is for gaps less than an inch and this is for gaps greater than an inch. Now the problem is that these two exert pressure uh, in the cavities that you spray this stuff in and they foam, uh, they, they cure rigid. This here is what you want to use around a window frame and a door because it stays uh, soft and pliable and flexible and it doesn't exert, it's a low pressure so it's not going to bow the frame. It's not going to, you know, uh, bow your frame so then you can't close your window or you can't close your door. So this is the stuff I'm going to use here. So basically follow the directions on the can. You might want to wear gloves or clothes that you don't mind uh, getting dirty. And protective eyewear, you don't want this stuff getting in your eyes. And give it a good shake. And ready to go. Hope I've got enough here. The only thing with this stuff is that uh, if you need to get in these cavities for some reason again, you have to dig all this stuff out. You know, if you were to put some fiberglass in here, you could probably pull it out a lot easier than this stuff. too much in there. So here's the last. Uh-oh, don't tell me on the most important part, I'm out.
just made it. Boy, I really made a mess. So I'll wait for that to cure and then I'll clean it up. Well, it's not the most professional looking, but once I clean that up, I'm thinking I'm going to frame around the door too, or trim, put some nice trim around the edge there. The following is how not to use spray foam. What a mess. Well, when it's still soft, you can uh, clean it up with acetone. But once it's cured, you have to clean it up mechanically, uh, you know, scrape it off or some type of abrasive pad or let it just wear off. And you should probably, you know, fill the cavity up halfway. You know, it is called expanding foam for a reason. But, uh, yeah, I got it all over the place. But I'll clean it up. It'll look better. Your results may vary. Could have left the door open, I guess. I think I got it in the locks too. We'll see what happens with that. All right, so adding more insulation to the greenhouse, slowly but surely. This is the Wingman Gardening on a warm, Monday, January 14th. Thanks for watching.